Welcome back guys and here we are with part two of me looking back at all of my old drawings and I just realized now that Mike's rope kind of goes through this building and through his arm but anyway um, we're back and here's me just kind of showing you all of my old drawings. I actually decided to split this into parts because I realized boy I talk a lot in these videos but anyway that's what you do when you just ramble on for 38 minutes but anyway anyway this is the drawing from last time so here we are with let's just continue on this is actually another D&D &D concept drawing and this one was actually the first where I decided to do it in this particular format so there's his name there Midel Fengar and there's a pun to that name and I'll explain that in a little bit but this is actually where the whole idea this is the same as the Jordan Ratzenberger one but this is the first of its kind it's like you know what I I don't just want to draw him I want to like do this thing so this is Midel Fengar he's a goblin rogue and his gimmick is that he's a trap master so there's like bear trap here there's a rope trap this is actually supposed to be one of those traps where you put like the cloth and then the leaves so that people walk into it and it's a hole underneath and there's kind of like a little town it's actually not a bad background and there's like a little rope where like you put your foot in it and then it goes up it's actually weird how I drew that but yeah he's kind of like he's a goblin and he's really good at coming up with traps essentially so there's like his little companion that he made out of a frying pan and it's like a little robot helper he it holds his things I actually if you translate the kanji here it actually translates into something and I used google translate for that so crab pan yeah crab pan's his name he's like a little crab robot and it carries his things but yeah he's kind of like an evil conniving guy he's kind of like he sets up traps just to delight in people's pain for falling for them so he sets them up and if someone gets caught by them he's like ha ha it worked <laughs> he's kind of a dick he's a dick character essentially and that's why i called him midel fengar which now that i've given you that little detail see if you can figure out why i named him that it's actually a pun if you really think about it and he smokes and he's got like a little robot arm. Oh yeah, he's, hang on, let me go back to it. Hang on, uh, there's Audacity. <laughs> it's me recording. Um, Where is it? Jordan Ratzenberger, it's here somewhere. There it is. Let me go back to this. Um, That's Medell over there. So that was actually, this actually came after I drew Medell, but there's Medell in the background and yeah, I explained it earlier was like, I'm giving him money because he won a bet, apparently. So that's Midel there. That's a little, like a little Easter egg. But anyway, let's get back to Midel real quickly. If I can find him on here. There he is. Okay. So that's the first of its kind. That's when I started using this box thing to highlight the name. And really create a picture that tells you what this character is who this character is like sort of give you a window into what they are like so it's kind of like showing you Midel as a character so that's the first of its kind and then I drew Jordan and another one which we'll get into this one I drew in college to kind of give me an idea of how comics worked so it's basically the story of Little Miss Muffet and there's like a little wireframe version of her it's like that's where her eyes would be kind of looks like she's bald I, I, I guess it's kind of like a guideline to show hey that's what this character that's the character's pose so it's kind of unfinished <laughs> it's it's weird to look at but yeah this spider it's got XP on its abdomen huh my dog's coughing Ah, anyway, the XP symbol, which is kind of like the closed eyes, tongue sticking out emoji. So yeah, sat down beside. One thing I don't like about this in particular is the sun. The sun's kind of, the sun's got a face and the sun's like notice the spider. He's like, oh, the spider. And then he's kind of looking on. But then if you look, the perspective's kind of changed because she's running away from the spider in this shot. 
But the son here, who's kind of like, oh, really? Is looking at her. It kind of looks like... Uh, how do I describe it? She basically stands up and runs away. She spills her her curds and whey. Why would the sun do that? Is what I don't get. It's like the sun is in a completely different place from where it was. So it's like hours has passed and she hasn't gotten up. And it's so stupid. It's <laughs> That's what I don't like about it. Like the sun would not be in this shot. Because it would be behind the spider. But yeah, that's Little Miss Muffet. Yeah, me being the brony that I am. So I drew this. I think I drew this in Season 2. Because the train kind of looks like the train from Season 2. Actually, it's actually a custom built. I normally draw trains by prototype. It's so weird for me to draw trains like this. Where it's like freeform. But anyway, Mersey Saddle Express. That's a pun. Haha. <laughs> and there's Twilight and Spike in the balloon in the background. And there's Derpy. So cute. And she's like, Muffin. And that's supposed to be me in pony form. That's kind of like my pony OC. My cutie mark is a cloud with a train on it. With a picture of a train. So that's my cutie mark. So that's supposed to be me. I guess it's another character concept drawing. But for Pony Me. And I just drew this train. Because I like to draw trains. And the characters actually look kind of weird. That one kind of looks like a dog's kennel. And I suppose that's the point. Uh, but yeah. Oh yeah. You know what? I did add. That detail is kind of like the. The passenger door for the carriage. The tender kind of looks weird. It looks like a third of the size of the train. Yeah. But anyway, I'm kind of like that. It's just something I did for fun. Oh, yes, this one. Oh, yes. I drew this after I came home from Comic-Con. Now, if you don't know... Hang on, I need a drink. Yeah, take a drink every time, every time Tom takes a drink. If you don't know, there's an episode of Dexter's Lab where they go into a convention... And Dexter's like suited up in like Star Trek garb. And they go into like a Barbie vendor. And this character here sells him like a Barbie. And then one of the characters in it opens it up. And that's when this famous line comes up. She's like, you've ruined the collector's value. Never remove from box. <laughs> oh, my throat. Anyway. So that's the famous line from that episode. It's like, never remove from box. And she slams the table. If you watch that episode, it's basically a frame by frame version of the shop. But I kind of made it into me with pop vinyls. Because I kind of, on the way home from Comic-Con, one of my pop vinyls opened. So I kind of opened it. And I'm like, ah, uh, kind of ruined the collector's value. So that's why I made it. It's basically that episode of Dexter's Lab, but with pop finals. And it kind of... The joke kind of lends into it. Sort of. Because pop finals are like a big thing now. That people collect. And you don't ever take them off the box. So... <laughs> I kind of made that into the joke, essentially. It's like this character is saying the same thing as she did back then, but with pop finals. Never removed from box! And she's selling them. And if you actually look... If you look at some of these pop vinyls, I kind of... Uh, they're not too complex, but you might be able to recognize who's who. So, like, there's Rick. There's Pickle Rick. There's Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls. Um, I forgot his name, but he's from Mystery, Mystery Science Theater. There's Tracer from Overwatch. The Powerpuff Girls. Um, Adventure Time here. Um, actually, no, that's Dora. Yeah, that's Dora, and that's Midel, and that's McBrayer. So those are my D&D &D characters that I made into pop finals. And there's Garnet from Steven Universe. There's Steven, actually. Um, Amethyst. I think that's supposed to be Pearl. And the worm here is actually from another picture, which we'll get into, I think. I don't know if... Oh, I didn't scan that, but that's from wormmax.io. That's actually the devil from Zero Punctuation. 
And there's Alex from Insectors. You may remember that from another picture. Um, what else we got? I think that's one of the Star Wars characters. Oh yeah, that's Dozer. That's my character Dozer. And there's Mojo Jojo. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's Dick Dastardly from Wacky Races. Ah. So yeah, there's a lot of pop vinyls. One Night Ultimate Werewolf. That's a game me and my, my friends plays. My me and my friends play. And he's like, I don't trust Jack. And Jack's like, mm. So yeah, One Night Ultimate Werewolf. And there's an actual werewolf, like, playing along. <laughs> I just made that for fun. And I just drew all my friends. And yeah, she... This person here, who, will, who shall remain nameless. I don't want to, like... I don't know if they're okay with me saying the names. Although I did kind of say that was Jack. Um, she was eating like spicy Pringles at the time. So I kind of drew her like eating spicy Pringles. She's like. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway. Um, that I will actually leave for another episode. And that one too. Because that, I actually have footage of me drawing them. But anyway. Uh, this one was actually a challenge. We played a game. I think it was called Super Fight. And the crux of it was, the concept was, who would win in a fight? And you would kind of put your cards together and be like, oh, this character with these traits. And you'd make an argument. We edited that, so it's like, you could apply that to anything. So who would win, a, who would win in a race? Or who would lose in a fight? Or who would be the best at winning a talent show? So we kind of like add our own scenarios to kind of make things kind of interesting. And we all like, like had these weird questions. And one question I put myself for was. One of the questions I put forward. Ugh, I'm not good at improv. Was what would I draw next? And they would all like put their cards together. And I think Jack won. And he was like the Pope driving a tank. Having a really good hair day. It's like he won. And that's what I drew. So that's this and yeah I realised later it's like aren't you a pacifist and you're driving a tank the tank actually kind of looks a little wonky but I did a lot of improv with that one it kind of looks like he's bigger than the tank but anyway that's the Rick and Morty one from earlier oh yeah Sadus Reverend you may remember him from Code Veronica the playthrough that I did with Andy it's like the Sadus Reverend I can't control the fierce impulses and I kind of drew him. So he's missing a foot. And he's got like the priest collar. He's a reverend. Would he still have that? Huh. But yeah, that's kind of... That's canonically what the sadist, what the sadist reverend looks like. He's got like the stitched eyebrows. He's, he kind of looks... The mouth... It's so weirdly detailed. He's kind of like... Oh... Ah. But his mouth is also kind of ripped too. So you can see the flesh. Uh, this is actually zoomed in. From another picture. But yeah. Canonically that's what Sadist Reverend looks like. He's like. Claire how are you doing darling. I'm the Sadist Reverend. And I'm going to get you. My, my hand kind of looks weird. But there you go. Oh yes yes yes. So I wanted to draw. And I couldn't because I had to concentrate on tidying my room so that we could fit in a new bed for me. And I was so annoyed by that. So I was like, draw whatever. Draw memes. So here's Ugandan Knuckles. Do you know the way? And the spaghetti bear from that Goldilocks cartoon was like, somebody touch my spaghetti. And some Tide Pods. Because that's a meme, right? <laughs> My new bed stopped me from drawing. Here's a picture of memes. So mad I drew memes. But yeah, that's actually kind of funny. Uganda Knuckles actually looks bigger than what he's canonically supposed to... He's supposed to be up to here in height. If that's my leg, he should be really here. But whatever, it doesn't matter. I drew Uganda Knuckles. Uh, Star vs. the Forces of Villainous. So that's Star Butterfly from Star vs. the Forces of Evil. And Villainous, which is a set of shorts. 
based on this character, Black Hat. <laughs> Control! Get rid of the heroes in your life! And that's... I forget what they're called now. Uh, this is 505, who's voiced by Markiplier. Flog, Dr. Flog, that's his name. And Dementia, there we go. Because there's only a few shorts. I hope that gets picked up into a series. In fact, I think that's why I drew this. It's like, I hope this gets picked up as a series. Because I really like these shorts. And I really like Star vs. the Forces of Evil. So, there we go. They're, they're fighting each other. Although they're not exactly fighting as much as they are looking at each other. And there's Ponyhead, Marco. Cool drawing. This one I drew in college. And this is to do with Telefang. So it's basically... If you've ever seen John Tron's Pokemon episode where he talks about all of the Pokemon bootlegs, there's one called Pokemon Diamond and Jade, which are actually mobile phone beast Telefang. Honestly, they're not bad games on their own if you completely forget that they're Pokemon games. And the whole gimmick was they're po they're they're Pokemon. They're basically monsters that have cell phones, so I kind of drew a picture based on that. So they're kind I forgot what these characters are. These are like Telefangs. And there's Crazy Frog, because he has Crazy Frog for his ringtone. It's like... And that character's like, SHUT IT OFF NOW! Hey, I have the same ringtone! Not an official Pokemon game. And there's Pikachu going, what? <laughs> but yeah, there's some Telefang fan art for you. Bet you didn't even remember what that was, but anyway. Uh, the Loud House. I actually drew that this year for Valentine's Day. Because I'm like, hey, I don't have a girlfriend, but I might as well do something. I like the Loud House. So here's the Loud House. Here are all, all ten sisters. And they're misproportioned in so many ways. It's not even funny. It's, But whatever. I just wanted to draw the Loud House and do all the individual characters so yeah I'm brain farting and I forgot what they are <sighs> Lana's Lana is smaller than Lisa there we go <laughs> who's supposed to be smaller but whatever she's actually taller than Laurie Luna's taller than Laurie you know what I'll do that right now so here's Lincoln Lisa Lily, Luan, who's got actually got a picture of fan art. So that's kind of like her, her gimmick. It's like, I drew some fan art. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? Uh, Lucy, Lenny. Lenny is actually my favorite of the sisters. Partly because I heard a rumor, and I don't know if it's true or not, but I heard a rumor that she's autistic, and that kind of explains some of her behavior. And... It's like this big discussion on, does she have autism? She kind of holds her arms like autistic people would. She gets things wrong. She's passionate about a particular subject. She's into fashion. It's like, if that's true, I don't know if it is, but if it is, that would explain it because I'm autistic myself. That would explain why I like her so much because, I don't know, she's my favorite and, and she's cute and she's voiced by Lenia. Liniana Mumi, so just a lot of reasons why she's my favorite. There's Lori on her cell phone, um, Lana, Lynn Jr., Luna, ah, what's her name? Oh, what's her name? I'm gonna hit myself later. Plus, uh, Lori. Lenny, Luan, Lucy, Lisa. Lola. There we go. There we go. I clicked. Lola. So that's Lola. So yeah, Loud House. Not a bad drawing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Ha. Huh. <laughs> right okay and to be fair I saw this coming because you know I drew it 
Right, okay, this is clearly Steven Universe fan art, because there's Peridot, and she's like, you clod! This... This is Theresa May, who is the current Prime Minister of the UK, and I drew this because I always felt like Theresa May kind of looked like Yellow Diamond from Steven Universe, so that's why I drew her with, like, that particular expression, you know, was, that episode is like, you clod! <laughs> So that's why I drew that. And that, ironically enough, was around the same time they had that snap election. Uh, I don't want to get political, but it's like, I, I drew this just to kind of like make fun of her. I actually sort of regret doing that because I don't like to bring politics into my drawings, but I just did this as like a joke. But yeah, Theresa May, I tried to get her hair down and she's got like a little that's actually a diamond to kind of give off that she's a diamond. There's yellow pearl and these are topaz guards that are guarding number 10 Downing Street. It's just that it's, it's just that expression. It's not it's exactly the yellow diamond expression from that episode, but it's Theresa May. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh my Hmm. Whoop, whoop. Okay, hang on. Wait, have I reached the end? So, yeah, that's Theresa May. I would not like to do... Because, honestly, again, I don't want to bring politics into my drawings. I honestly would not, would not draw anything like this again. But, you know, I showed this to people and they, and they got a kick out of it. And they are not Tory supporters, but... They, they were like, ha, that's funny. And in a way, that was kind of a good thing. Because when I drew it, it's like, oh, is this too political? I, I kind of regret it now. But it's like when I showed it to people and they got a good kick out of it. It's like, you know what? It made people laugh kind of at, at her expense. So it did something, at least. It did something. So there we go, Theresa May. Anyway, have we reached the... Oh, wait, no, no, no. No, we haven't. Because, yeah, I kind of clicked off and on. I drew this in college in pen. Why? I hate drawing in pen now. But there's Thomas the Tank Engine. I think... Hang on. I can zoom in. Oh, yeah. That's Sir Handel. Okay, so it's Thomas, Annie, Clarabelle, Sir Handel. And an Amtrak diesel locomotive. In the style of the little engine that could... If you don't remember, there was a cartoon adaptation of the little engine that could. And I think it was called Farnsworth. The grey high speed one that was voiced by Frank Welker. I kind of based it on that, but it's Amtrak. So that's a funny little one. Another character concept. And this one I went overboard with the detail. Tina Rosewater, who, who was actually another character that I had in a fanfic from way back. She was an original character, so I kind of adopted the name for this character in particular. She's a fae. I think she's a fighter. And she's kind of sassy. She's a hmm, like duck face in front of whoever is taking this picture, which I guess is me. And... To kind of give off that she's a tiny fairy, I kind of made all of the things around her bigger. Although some of them are kind of off proportion a little bit. There's a giant key, which I guess is for treasure. Is that the ring from Lord of the Rings? <laughs> but yeah, there's, a, there's someone's foot and she kind of stabbed in between the toenail. So it's kind of like the splinter in the toenail. So <laughs> she pulled someone's eyes out. That's kind of what I wanted to give out in this picture. She's a small, she's a tiny little fairy. She's actually kind of, kind of the same size as the spider who you may recognize as the spider from the Miss Muffet comic that I did. So it's the same spider and his butt's on fire because why not? So she's a small little fairy, but she basically killed off the entire bar and they're like 10 times the size of her so she killed she basically killed everyone and there's a little gnome character's like oh, I'm hiding behind here 
and they're at a bar and she's and she's drinking because she's a big drinker so yeah she's kind of cute I actually that was the point I wanted to make her like super adorable uh, but like have a tough side underneath it's like cross the line I'll kill you and they're like Poof. yeah tiny little fairy ha 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 kills everyone at the bar so that's another character concept I really like this one although again perspective it's like because even with this gnome character here this guy kind of looks like a giant by comparison so it's weird but whatever I like it it's funny and there's someone's hand there Simple drawing of me. There's me. And there's Terra, the Jigglypuff. There's Tinkerbell, my Rebombi. And Starling, which is my Oricorio. These two I actually took with me to a tournament in Sheffield. So that was fun. And Togepi and Azumarill, because they're fairy types. And I like fairy types. So that's me with some Pokemon. And some Pokeballs. Apricorn Pokeballs. Love Ball, Fast Ball. Friend ball and heavy ball because I'm a bank bowler and I like different pokeballs. So that's just a simple thing that I did. This one I drew in college. I realized I'm out of, I'm out of time, but this is the last one. <clears throat> this one I drew in college just for fun. And it's like, yeah, all this is happening. I drew this like Transformer Megazord thing first and then kind of. This is another one where I got greedy. So I added the pterodactyl later and then I added the buildings. It's like all this thing going to this whole city is basically under fire. There's like a kraken on the building. Superhero doing nothing against all of this. Someone getting abducted, abducted by aliens. Comet. Someone's getting shot on the roof. This truck is got hazardous waste. And there's a little turtle. There's a little turtle. I just realized. There's a turtle and there's toxic waste. <laughs> Snake coming out of the main station. A tank. Iceland, which is actually a shopping chain in Br in Britain that I added in. Love to draw. Go to DeviantArt because I was big on DeviantArt. Oh yeah, and I said that was the last. You know what? One more. One more. Another character concept for a villain who's basically basically a Pokemon abuser I think and he's got like the Doc Ock arms from Spider-Man kind of looks stupid but whatever anyway that's Vincent Von Gross is his name weird name whatever anyway that's about it I'm gonna take a break and stay tuned for part three because apparently I've, I'm not completely done with this yet so until next time guys thank you very much for watching this is Tomagotchi signing off click click Oh, and let me know if you like this series so far. I actually will get around to actually drawing further down the line. But, you know, my equipment is stupid and annoying. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click, click, click. Tamagotchi.